Today we will see the sequence component of an asymmetrical fault. So we know that uh, in an asymmetrical fault, to find out the fault, we have to calculate the sequence component. And this sequence component is of three types. First is positive sequence component, second one is negative sequence component, and third one is zero sequence component. Okay. So there are three types of components: positive, negative, and zero. So in a symmetrical fault, this sequence component are introduced. Okay. Now let me see the in detail of, with positive, negative, and zero. So starting with positive sequence component. So in positive sequence component, uh, it consists of three phases equal in magnitude. Okay. Means we can say that suppose this is three phase diagram A, B, C. Okay. So all the magnitude of A, B, C will be same, and the angle between them is of 120 degree. Okay. So this is in positive sequence uh, component. So in positive sequence component, the magnitude of A, B, and C. Will be equal and it is dip, displaced by 120 degree, and we can also say that it has same phase sequence as original phaser. Means the phaser of A B C of the original sequence will be same for the positive sequence component. Okay, so what are the two steps we have discussed? The magnitude of A B C will be same and it is dip, displaced by 120 degree. And it has the same phaser as original phaser diagram. Okay, and it is denoted by suffix one. Means for three phase, we will write here one V A one, V B one, and V C one. Means where you see the one V B one, V C one, that is the positive sequence component. Okay. So what is original sequence? Original sequence nothing but the system which is working before fault. Okay, if the original sequence is like this A B C, this is before the working fault means before the fault condition the phaser sequence will be A B C. Okay, now when the fault occur, what will the positive sequence? A positive sequence will be of same phaser as like original A B C. Which is displaced by 120 degree. Here you can see V A1, V B1, V C1. This is for positive sequence. One is for the positive sequence, and we have taken voltage. Okay, as a may the magnitude also be same. The voltage of V B V A1, V B1, V C1. The magnitude also be same. Okay, and for the balance condition, we can write here V A1 plus V B1 plus V C1 equal to zero. So, what is the original sequence? Original sequence is the system before the fault condition. Okay, and same diagram is drawn for the positive sequence component, name as V A one, V B one, and V C one. Now, what will be the phaser represent representation in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction? Okay, so before starting, uh, I would like to. Introduce a phase operator. Phase operator denoted by A. Okay. Somewhere it is written as K. Somewhere it is written A. Okay. So we are taking A. So A means one angle, one twenty. Okay. A means one angle, one twenty. A square means one angle, two forty. And A cube means One angle, three sixty. Okay, magnitude is same, one one one, but the phase displacement of A is one twenty. Means A we have to write one angle one twenty. If it is the phase displacement of one angle two forty, we write A square, and if it is one angle three sixty, uh, we write here A cube. Okay, and you can also solve as A plus A square. Okay, A cube plus A. Okay. By putting this value, you can find a plus a square, a cube plus a. Okay, so this is the phase operator A. Now we will see the phaser represent representation in clockwise direction. So 
this is VA1, VB1, VC1, angle displacement is 120 degree. Now, taking a reference VA1, so VA1 is equal to VA1 angle 0. Okay, we have taken here reference, so there is a no phase displacement, same. Okay, so VA1 equal to VA1 angle 0. Okay, there is a no angle. Okay, now if we move VA1 to reach the VB1, what will the value VB1 is equal to VA1 angle minus 120 degree? Okay, means if we have to reach the VA1 to my VB1, we will write here VA1 angle minus 120 and it is in clockwise direction. Okay, now what will be the uh, VA1 to reach VC1, which is equal to 120 plus 120 is 240. So VC1 is equal to VA1 angle minus 240. Okay. So this is the phasor representation in clockwise direction. Now in anti-clockwise direction, this is VA1, this is VB1 and this is VC1. Now to reach VA1 to the VB1, okay. So it will take clockwise, we have seen that it is clockwise and anti-clockwise will be like this, okay. So what will the angle VA1 and VB1 will be? 240, VB1 is equal to VA1 angle. 240 and what will the VA1? VA1 is equal to VA1 angle 0 because it we have taken here it is a reference. Okay. Now we have seen in the phase operator that one angle 240 is nothing but the A square. So we will write here A square VA1. VB1 is equal to A square VA1. Now VA1 to reach VC1 will equal to VA1 angle 1. 20 and this is equal to a va1 because the value of a is one angle 120 okay so this is the symmetrical component of positive sequence and we'll see in the next video with a negative and zero sequence component